Hey there, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to talk about how to create files using PHP. So this is something that, uh, as an advanced programmer, that you'll definitely end up doing and can really help you to do some cool things with PHP once you learn how to uh, create, uh, add content to, edit, uh, open, read contents from, and delete files uh, using PHP. So in this uh, tutorial in this video we're gonna go ahead and talk about that so to start we're gonna be using a couple of functions one we're gonna be using the f open function we'll be using the f close function the f write function and the f read function and these all deal specifically with uh, creating uh, editing adding content to and, and reading content from files so uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing that you need to do when you're working with files is you need to create it uh, if it doesn't already exist. So let's assume that we don't have a file that doesn't exist. So in order to create a new file, there actually isn't an F create button like you might think. Instead, you use the F open function and and when specifically creating the file you're going to use the w parameter for the uh, mode and so let's go back and look at this function for a second so you'll notice that we have a couple parameters first one is a string which is the file name so that's going to be whatever uh, file name you want it to be so um, there's that and then the next one's going to be the mode and it's a string and there's a number of different modes if you come down here to this uh, parameter down here and you'll see that what each one stands for so R is for reading only R plus is for reading and writing W is for writing only and so on down the list we're going to be dealing with specifically R, W, and A uh, those are going to be the main ones that we'll deal with and the main ones that you'll probably use when you're using this function so as you can see the W is for open for writing only and you see at, at the end it says if the file does not exist attempt to create it so that's what we're relying on when we do this so we're going to use the f open function and you see we've set the name of our file to new demo dot text in this file name variable so we're going to set that as the file name and then we're going to use the w for the parameter <clears throat> and then at the end we just put this check that says if this can't uh, open or create this file, kill the script and return an error that says can't open file. So that way we know that uh, if we can't open the or create the file, then we get that error and we, we know what's going on. So, so now with this, um, we've uh, opened and created the file and it will be given uh, the name of new demo.txt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just comment out this here because we'll get to that in a second. So this is our script. Again, we have, we'll comment out this. Again, we have uh, open the file name uh, and since it doesn't exist, it's going to attempt to create it. So let's save this and let's actually head over to our folder here. And you'll notice that if I come in here and I refresh, I don't have a file named new demo. Uh, text so we don't have that file in this htdocs folder so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually create that file so if we come over to our browser and we go to our demo.php page and let's just refresh this page okay now you're not going to see anything happen because we I've commented out all the outputs uh, so we can walk through this but if we come back over to htdocs folder you'll see that now we have this new demo.txt file so the file was created and if we open it up of course we didn't add any content to it so you'll see this blank but the file does exist <clears throat> now if we come back over and we uncomment these two lines then we're going to uh, use the f write function okay and so what the f write functions do it will do is once a file is created then uh, it will write data to it and so again um, 
we have a couple of parameters. One is the handle. So let's talk about the handle real quick. When you open a file, the, what's returned in that fopen function is a, a resource handler. Okay, so you want to store that resource handler as a variable. And then you'll see when we come down and we use the rest of these functions like fwrite, fclose, um, that we're an fread too, that we're using the file source handler. It's basically a pointer so we know which particular file we're talking about. Okay, so <clears throat> when you're creating a file, you'll pretty much almost always uh, have something that looks like this because. Uh, there's not too many situations where you're probably going to create a blank file. There may be, so you may not have this fwrite function in there, but typically you're always going to be writing some sort of file or uh, some sort of information or data to that file. So we just created a variable that has that data in it, and then we use the fwrite function. We have the resource handler, and then if we come back over, we have a string, which is the data that is to be written into the file, and then we have the optional argument of length so we can set the length to stop at a certain uh, number of bytes there may be situations where you need to do that but that's an optional parameter you don't actually have to do that okay so if we come back over <clears throat> you can see that we've done f right um, we've used our resource handler and we've used our content variable so this should create us now um, a file called new demo dot text um, with this data into it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over I'm going to delete this file okay so now it doesn't exist we've uncommented this and we save it if we come back to our demo.php page and we refresh again nothing's going to happen but if we come back over we have new demo.txt again and we open it and you can see that now we have our data that is added in, in there Okay, so that's how you create a file and add that right data to it. Pretty simple. Now, one thing to keep in mind is <clears throat> when you use this W, this write mode, if the file does exist, what's going to happen is the uh, PHP is going to open that file and it's going to truncate all the data in there. So if you ever hear someone say about uh, talk about truncating a file using PHP this is what we're talking about what truncating is is essentially it's overwriting the data so if we open this file and it already exists when if we use this W mode it's gonna delete all of the data that is in that file already and it's gonna start back at the beginning of that file and whatever content you add into it it's gonna put that content in there instead of the content that was in there before. So essentially it's a way of overwriting a file. Now we're going to talk about in a minute a function you can use to append data. So add data to a file that exists. But when you're using this W mode, know that whatever, if that file does exist, all the data that's in there is going to get deleted and replaced with whatever you put here. Okay, so that's something important to remember. Then of course once you write, you've opened it, you've, you write it, then of course you want to uh, explicitly close it. You don't have to because when PHP um, finishes and ex executing the script, it'll close it automatically, but it's a good habit to get into. Plus it'll allow you to do things where you can open and close and add and append data in the same file multiple times, um, like we're going to do in this uh, this particular script here. So. <clears throat> All right, so now that we've created a file and we've added data to it and we know what it says, now we want to get data from that file. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment this line, or these lines here. And so to get data from a file first, again, we have to open the file. And when we open it, this time what we do is we use the R. And if we come back over to or F open, you'll see that R stands for open for read only. Okay, that's what we want to do because we're just going to be reading the file. Okay, so we open the file and then we save uh, the content that we're going to get from the file as a variable. So uh, this content equals and then F read is the function that we need in order to read the file. So if we come to our manual, <clears throat> you'll see that F read 
um, binary state file read reads up to length bytes from the file pointer, etc. Um, the variables that we pass, which are both required, are the resource handle, which we talked about earlier, and then the length, how much of the file we want to read. Okay, so you may and and that length is in bytes. So you may be thinking, okay, well, do I have to know the the, the file size? No, you don't, because there's a PHP function called file size and you can pass in the name of the particular file and it'll tell you uh, what the size of that file is in bytes. So essentially when you're using fread, if you want to read the whole document, you're going to put in the resource handler, which again is this variable that we save the resource handler as when we open that particular file. <clears throat> then use this file size function on the file name so that PHP goes and finds the file size of this and you set that as the second parameter um, for the length that you want to read. So uh, this right here is going to open our file and it's going to uh, open, let us read all of the data inside of it. And it's going to take that data and it's going to save it as a string uh, in this variable content. And then of course we close the file because we're done reading from it. And then we can echo out the data that we saved as this content. So we're now we can echo out that string. So we save this and we come back over and we refresh. You'll see that now we have, this is how you create a file and add text to it. And if we open our file, you can see that that's the exact data that's in the file. <clears throat> so that's how you read from a file. Now, next thing that we're probably going to want to do is we're going to want to append data to uh, a particular file so I'm going to go ahead and comment this back out for reading because we're going to do it a little different way now and we're going to append data to a file <clears throat> and we're going to echo out the appended data okay so again with appending data we have, we open the file again, save the uh, resource handler as a variable, we create some content that we want to append, and then we use fwrite to add that data. You'll notice the difference is, is that when we open this one we use a. So if we come back over to our manual for fopen, you'll see that a says um, open for writing only, place the file pointer at the end of the file. And if the file does not exist, attempt, attempt to create it that place at the end of the file means that any data that you uh, use uh, with fwrite is going to be placed at the end of any data that already exists in there so it's not going to overwrite it okay so this is really important when you want to append data you use this a um, so that gives you a good idea of the different ways you use fopen w r and a to write data or truncate data to read data and to append data. Now we have our content that we've saved in here. We have fwrite. Now that we're using fwrite and the file pointers at the end, it will just append our content to that file. And then of course we can close that file. And now we're going to open a, reopen our file for reading and we're going to save we can use fread just like we did up here. This is actually exactly the same as this, this up here. We're going to use fread to open the file, uh, get all of the data. We're going to use the full file size, close it, and then we've saved it, the, the data in the new appended file as this a content variable. And we're going to echo that out so that we can now see that. So if we come back over to our demo.php, You'll see that now it says after append and this is how you create a file and add text to it this is how you this is how to append data to a file which if we look at our content this is how to append data to a file so we added this text when we first created it then we added this text when we appended it and if we come back to our file you'll see that we have two lines this is how you create a file and add text to it this is how you append data to a file okay so that is the main use of the file function file functions in PHP to open or create slash open uh, a file to write and append data to it and to read data from it. <clears throat> now 
all that said and done, there may be a time where you want to delete a file um, after you m manipulate in, in some way. So the way that you delete a file in PHP is using what's called this unlink uh, function. And so why unlink? Why not like F delete or something like that? Well, the way directories work, um, they look at them as basically links to resources. So that when you understand how that works, it makes sense that the function would be called unlink. It doesn't really matter for our purposes. The big thing is to just know that using unlink is how you delete a file with PHP. So we'll come back over to our htdocs folder. We'll see that we have this new demo.txt. Okay, we're gonna run through and we're gonna, um, you know, it's gonna open the file. Uh, it's going to truncate the data, then it's going to append it, and, uh, open it again, append it, and then we're going to open it to read it. So we're actually still going to get this um, output, but we're also going to delete the file once we're done with it. So if we come back over to our demo.php page and we refresh it, you notice it looks like nothing happens. We still get our output, like I mentioned. But if we come back over to our folder, you notice that now there's no new demo.txt page. Okay, so that's what unlinking does is it, it essentially deletes the, the file from, from the directory. Okay, so there may be an instance where, where you need to do that. So those are the file manipulation uh, functions that you have in PHP. Of course, there's a few others, but this is the main um, meat and potatoes of how to create uh, add data to, get data from, overwrite data, append data, delete files, etc. using PHP. So hopefully that's helpful for you. I'll talk to you again soon.